if we were to, you know, have you work out and get have a six pack of abs as a builder, right? What's what you're saying? Mate? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. Maybe there is under there. I'm not too sure. You know. Yeah. <laughs> My dream is to improve the residential building industry for all involved. Throughout this podcast, we're going to be chatting to all types of industry experts to make sure that builders, tradies, and clients all have a fantastic experience. G'day guys and girls, how are you going? We are back in the shed for another episode of Level Up, uh, the podcast that is improving and changing the building industry. So uh, today's a bit of a different one. Um, we've got Shay here with me. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Thanks for having me on. So um, for those of you that might be wondering who Shay is, Shay is the man behind all the video and uh, a lot of the marketing we do uh, in all of my businesses. So um, I've known Shay for, what have I known you for now? Maybe five years, six years? Oh, mate, we met in the pub probably, was it, <laughs> six years ago at North Lakes. So yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, and we actually met because you were creating video for a, uh, a business, a Morton Bay Regional Council yeah, Business yeah. Award thing. Yeah, it was Embrit, so it was an Embrit thing. So yeah, yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it's funny how things have come around and we've uh, now we've ended up working together. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I, I wanted to do this podcast today because um, I was so hesitant for a long time to uh, put myself on camera and, and even get on social media like I think a lot of people don't realize um about me I couldn't stand it I absolutely hate it used to argue with my wife about it because she was on it and I just didn't uh I didn't see the the value in it and, and in saying that there is a large part of it that I still don't like I don't like how it sucks people in and wastes a lot of your time like we uh I use social media because it is powerful for my business and that's why we've got you yeah so um Mate, do you want to tell us a little bit about? Uh, you're a video, you're a video producer, videographer. Yep. Yeah. Um, like in our business, you do the lot, don't you? Yeah, we do podcasts. Um, we do out in the field um, job ups, updates, uh, side updates, um, funny stuff. We script stuff as well. So yeah, the whole gambit. Yeah. So Shay, Shay does. Um, he does some script writing for some of the the vids we put out. Um, helps me with a lot of the content creation videoing editing all that type of stuff but um he's a very very creative person um gets me out of my comfort zone yeah yeah i think that's i, key. Think, you, I think you like it i do <laughs> I, I do like it well it's um it's one of those things that you're um you know you're probably the first to admit that you you're you're probably not an extrovert you're an introvert but um you push yourself to you know come out of your comfort zone all the time so you're always surprising me with what you what you can do. So yeah, it's um it's great working with you. Shay makes suggestions for some uh, crazy things, which we've we've got some crazy stuff coming up that we haven't released yet. But uh, <laughs> he uh, yeah, I'm I'm in a position now where I just trust what Shay comes up with so much, and uh, he makes suggestions. We have a bit of a workshop about it, and then we we get stuck into it. But um, I think it's incredibly powerful, isn't it? Like I think yeah. one thing I guess to understand is um video is incredibly powerful because it shows everything it it's uh your voice your personality your attitude like it, it just shows so much doesn't it yeah well, like when i was working um before we came on full time here it's um it you, you saw every type of character um and it generally came down to the way you talked about yourself so sometimes i'll go uh, a boss would get one of their employees to come in and do a video and they're like, oh, I don't like doing video. I don't like the way I sound. I don't like my hairstyle. I haven't had my morning coffee. So there's always a million <laughs> excuses as to why not to do it. But um, in some ways I saw that for other other people saw that as an opportunity. So if, if you got out there in front of the camera and, um, you know, showed people who you really were, were then, um, you know, there was less people doing it. So um, you could really stand out in um, in your industry. Yeah, I think for a builder, it's like obviously I've realised the power in it now. Like it, it, all of our businesses are incredibly busy through the power of um, of video, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess video for me, I, I personally believe video is a new word of mouth. Like you, yeah. um, like gone are the old days. Like we we still get jobs where where clients um, come from neighbours of properties that we've built, or or a relative or a friend of a friend, and all that sort of thing. But the even if they come from they might start off at that these days the first thing everyone will do is 
go to a website, check you out, see if you've got a social media page yeah. and jump on there and start checking you out and following you. And we've had clients follow us for years before they get on board. Yeah, well, we've seen it firsthand. Um, you know, people will yell out and say, hey, Dwayne, you know, um, <laughs> I've saw your last video. And the, that's the power of video and the way that they know, you don't know them from a bar of soap, but they know you, they're following you, um, they're watching you on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the above. And they get a feeling for who you are as a person. And, um, you know, I suppose when it comes to probably talking to clients, there's a lot of clients that'll do their homework, look through all your videos, get to know who you are. And when it comes to probably, I don't know, do you have to pitch anymore to anyone? No pitching anymore, mate. There you go. Like yeah. it's, um, the video does it all. Mm. Yep. The, yep. Um, and I think, it, like, we get we get clients that come from all for all different reasons now. Like probably my the most powerful thing that I've realised from the video, um, and you've picked up on this is we attract the clients that we want to work with. Yeah, I, th yep. I think um, like you see so many social media um, pages and it's just all the fluffed up finished mm. pictures, nice be like the finished home and the furniture and all that sort of thing. And to me, that's almost opening a can of worms and and you're attracting the wrong type of clients. Like because we show so much behind the scenes and like my favorite saying is it's all the stuff you don't see that matters. Yeah, yeah. And because we're not afraid to show that and the, the job site during construction and it might be a little bit dirty every now and then and yep. we show all the ins and outs, it, um, it actually attracts clients that are similar personality to me, have similar values to me, appreciate the quality that we do. Yeah. Um, and yep. it, as you, you touched on before, like it, it takes all the sales pitch out. Yeah, well, I think people are becoming more savvy on um, picking, you know, if if you're authentic or not within a video. Like we've all watched enough YouTube, we've all watched enough <laughs> um, stuff on your reels. Yeah. Um, so, and then obviously the algorithms that these um, these big companies use, they're targeting you with stuff that you click on and and watch for longer periods of time. So I think the watch time that we actually, you know, we sit down and watch a video, you you unconsciously become very good at um, understanding what you like and what you don't like, but also picking people that are just there for a sell or they're, they're trying to put one over you. Yeah. Um, so um, I think, you know, like if we were to, you know, have you work out and get have a six pack of abs as a builder, right? What's what, what are you saying? Mate? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying maybe there is under there. I'm not too sure. You know, yeah. But um, it, you and all you did was work around, walk around shirtless, right? Then um, we would we would be. No one wants to see that. <laughs> we'd be throwing out a certain type of um, vibe to a certain type of audience. Mm. Uh, I don't think that's your audience though. No, you know? it's definitely, well, it's not me either. Like, exactly. Yeah. So um, I think that authenticity and, and you being you and all the videos that we do where you show people behind the scenes, we, sh we you show yourself getting dirty. Um, it's not all the pretty pictures is, is a massive part of it. And I think that's also when we had originally had the conversation about coming to work for you is um, the two things that I kind of look for is you know, uh, are you, do you care what other people think about you? And are you solid in your boots? And you're both, like you're, you're not insecure about um, who you are and you actually don't care what other people think. You've got a mission and a vision and you're focused to go hit that. And that was kind of cool that, because I, I know that there's a lot of people out there that fear judgment from other people, yeah. especially if they've got like, you know, if you've got a good message to get across and get out there, um, it's almost an obligation that you, you know, you, you need to get it out there and share with people. Yeah, no, well, mate, you, you've definitely played a big, um, a big role in that. So um, just to go back a little bit, mm. um, yeah, we met five or six years ago. Um, Shay is incredibly good at his job. We actually got him involved uh, in our businesses, um, doing a little bit of contracting work yep. here and there, yep. uh, did some testimonial work. Um, and then, yeah, as, yeah, like I actually, um, like you went through some changes in your life. Like we probably didn't see each other for a good 12, 18 months. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, we went to like, Fraser, I think. And then, yeah. And then I didn't see you for a year or so. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, opportunities come, come around and we, we struck a deal. And, um, yeah, Shane now works for us full time. And, um, so let, we might break it down into a few topics, I think, because yeah, sure. um, yep. I think that'll help people get a bit better understanding. So I guess flowing on from that, um, 
like back in the day, I and, and a lot so much of this comes back to me understanding what it takes to run my business and being able to allow um, uh, enough overhead and uh, things to cover what I do in my business. But I actually took a pay cut um, to put Shay on because I can see the value in it. Mm-hmm. And I know that by... Um, I appreciate that too, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know by me <laughs> sacrificing a little bit to put the money into Shay, we'll pay back in the end because it's like the stuff that we're creating and yeah. and the the work that we're Shay's doing to help is is incredibly valuable. So, I think so many businesses probably hold back um, when it comes to marketing. Yeah. Um, because they probably don't really understand the value and i know i definitely didn't for a long time yep um so i guess that's the first one to touch off on but let's talk about followers yeah because um i know <laughs> we've got similar views on this like i'm, I'm not about the numbers yeah um look I, I think in some ways you know it's it's in the back of everyone's mind you know is as to how many followers you've got um because obviously more followers the bigger audience you got, then there's a bit more leverage to do things, sponsorship deals, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's I, I just going back to what you're talking about before. Another point that you've got that I think really works in your favour is you've got patience. This is this is a long game. It's mm. not a short game where you're just trying to create something viral. Um, and especially your mission, it's a it's it's a long long. It's not a sprint. Creating a new know? industry, mate. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, with that, it's 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 going to be a grind. It's going to be a slow grind, and we're going to slowly see things ticking over. Um, but if you know, if you're in it for just the short term, it's it's you know, uh, it's it probably not going to work out for you. But um, having that patience, and you've definitely got that, you know. So it's just seeing things, you know, tick over. But with the with the followers, yeah, I, I don't think it's they'll come. Yeah, you know, if if your message is strong enough, you're authentic enough, you're driven enough and passionate enough about what you're talking about, people will follow you. You yeah. know, there's no two ways about it. It's it's just, um, it, again, just being that authentic self. And if if your vision and mission is strong enough, people will come on the trip with you. Yeah, and I think it like it's obviously when I say I don't care about the numbers, it's um, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. I think, and mm. and and the type of business. Like there is businesses sure. that need tens or hundreds of thousands of followers to yeah get the well there's so many people out there these days actually making a living yeah. because they have so many followers whereas right. um i like like you said i'm we're authentic like we want followers that are going to help our our cause our purpose our mission and yep. um everything that we do is is all focused at that and mm. it works really really well um for me and i guess this is another one like it did take me a while to get my head around this but for for builders and traders out there that are wanting to do more video, a little bit hesitant about doing it, don't like don't worry if you've only got two hundred or three hundred or or twelve hundred followers, whatever it may be, because at the end of the day, for a building business, um, you can only do a certain amount of work, and ideally, mm. you want to be using your social media as a marketing tool, and you want your followers to become your clients. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, back to what we were talking about before, like you don't have to – you're not cold calling anymore, are you? Like you've got work for what, the next three years? Yeah, a few years. Yeah, and there's none of that awkwardness um, when you go to meet a client because in some ways the relationship has been built. If anything, you've got to get to know the client to see if they're yeah. right for your business. Yeah, if they fit. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, well, yeah, we'll go. On, I think we'll touch on that subject next. But just to wrap up on the number of followers thing, I think um, it like you got to think of it like the way I think of it as a builder. Like, so my businesses are different. Like, um, so with Live Like Build and Quotes, we need like we want lots of followers in those businesses because we got to get to a bigger audience. But with my yep. building business, which is is what started all this, mm. like we we only do work in. A certain radius of where we live so yeah what is the point of me having like it it'd be great to have heaps of followers and they can like our work and stuff but like i said my my goal out of it is to educate people yeah. that actually want to become my clients and want us to build them a quality home mm. so we only do work in a certain radius so it's only um you want to check no, people in that radius yeah, there's no yeah. point me having five ten fifteen twenty thousand followers if um 
if I if I can't service them all properly, like so. Yeah, well, well it's it it you can dilute your brand as well. Like you yeah. know, there's people buying um, likes and stuff like that, but you, it's 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 you still got to put the work in. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. There's still got to be a grind to um to put the work in and 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 build, you know. And yeah, it's it, again, it just keeps coming back to that, you know. If if you've got a clear clear vision and focus where you want to go, people you'll attract like-minded individuals. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I think um, that's probably number one. Don't uh, don't worry about your numbers. Um, yeah, just have a message and be be real, be authentic, and, yeah. and show people the type of work that you do and the quality that you do and the type of business you have, and and that ultimately will attract yeah the the client. Like it, it's, it's unbelievable how it works. Like people are. Uh, so many people laugh when I tell them that we actually become great friends with most of our clients. Like yeah. we, uh, like we're great friends with all of them, but we actually come some clients. We like we got multiple clients now that we go on camping trips, overseas vacations, like well, it's, it's, uh, catch up for barbecues. It's unbelievable. It's said it many times. Like it's um, the amount of months you spend with that family is kind of like a marriage, isn't it? Yeah. So you're married to that person, and you know your, your weekly um, side updates with them. Um, you're in each other's pockets a lot and then obviously there's some decisions that you've got to make along the way that could go either way yeah but um at the end of the day i think you know they trust you and you know but it's it's off the back of all the value and information that you give yeah so um i think that's you yeah, definitely part of it. Yeah. yeah so um all right so we've talked about numbers we've talked about um understanding like getting getting your head around the value of marketing and that sort of thing um Let's talk about how, like, how do you, how do, like, you've you've done it for me. Like, how do you, how do guys and girls get out of their comfort zone? Like, what what's gonna help them feel more comfortable in front of a camera? Yeah, I, I've always said embrace your inner dickhead. Right. So, <laughs> um, but you know, look, the way that we sometimes, especially like where we where we are in Brisbane here. Um, we can be very nice to one another and, you know, like, I don't know, if you go out on a date and you, your cat's just died, you're not going to go with the frumpy face. You're going to put on a, you know, a bit of a, oh, like, you know, you, you're going to try and impress the, the other person. So um, I think it's kind of you've, you've got to find that um, your voice. Yeah. And um, it takes practice you know it's just like i still remember the first video i did with you it was shit house <laughs> and then i remember yeah. after seeing you after a couple of years and i came back and i'm like holy hell what happened because you've been practicing all this time and yeah. you've been getting in front of the camera you've been putting yourself out of your comfort zone and you got to a place that and i thought holy like you you came such a long way in a short really short amount of time so yeah, yeah. hats off to you and a lot of that um Thanks, mate. But a lot of that was from advice that Shay's um, given me over the years. So Shay has a few things, uh, like little routines yeah. that um, yep. we do. So like Shay, um, like I think I think to do a good video, so there's, I guess there's two things. Like a good video to show people the type of uh, construction company you have, the type of work you do is generally a lot of the time they're they're on the spot, aren't they? Like yeah. If, if you're on a job site, you see your team doing something or you see something getting done that will possibly be hidden by a plasterboard or, or paint or something, grab your phone, do a video on it. Like, yeah. hey, hey. Well, like, so in the film world, that's impromptu. Yeah. So it's, they're the organic vids that sometimes are just the best. If you look at some of the scenes in, in movies, yeah. they're actually, the director just kept rolling yeah. and someone just made something up. Um, Robert De Niro in front of the camera. You're yeah. talking to me. You know, that was all made up, <laughs> yeah. and that made the final cut. Yeah. So um, think of it a bit like that when you're doing your social media. Like if you see something that's a value that could help someone in your industry or a client, yeah. um, pull the phone. We've all got phones in our back pocket, so yeah. pull it out and um, get get excited about it. And know? that can be like it doesn't have to be on site, even does it? Like if they've just had a, a great meeting with a client or or a great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Meeting with an architect or designer or whatever, or they've just left site and they're pumped about the job. That's it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just those really impromptu ones um, go a long way. And then the the flip side of that is ones that are scripted. Um, yeah, Shay definitely taught me a lot about um, scripting. Like if if you do have particular things, it could be to do with um, like we do the pack process in our business. Like mm. you might have a process that you want to sell to clients. It could be um, you might want to educate clients on 
how you run your business or things they should look out for when they're building at home or, or any of those types of things. So mm. writing them down and rehearsing them. Yeah, I think that, like the, the, the technicalities, like if you're a lawyer and you need, there's legal jargon that needs to be spot on, sometimes it's best to teleprompt that. But also is to work out, some people are really good in front of a teleprompter, other people aren't. So it's just kind of working out which it is for you. Some people are just great off the cuff. Yeah. Um, some people like there's a lot of professionals that will actually they teleprompt and script every script um and it's just what works for you yeah yeah so i think that, like i guess to um to close off on that the impromptu stuff that's that's genuine value isn't it like that's where you're that's where you're showing clients like this is a real deal this yeah. is what we do this is how we do it um this is the experience we'll give you all those types of things yeah. the the rehearsed and the the um, I guess documented stuff. That's when you really want to get across a specific message. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, more, it's like to, you know, again, horses for courses. But the more technical aspects, if if you need to talk about measurements and they need to be precise, yeah. then I'd say teleprompt it. You know, because yeah. there's other stuff that you've got to think about besides that. So the teleprompter would really help you out in those scenarios. Yeah, yeah. no, it's unreal. So. Um, I think that will definitely help people get a little bit more comfortable in there. That, and I guess to, to keep going on with the, um, I guess, feeling comfortable mm. with doing this, it's um, like, man, you, you don't have to look the part, do you? Like, no, no. Like, like, and again, that's going to add authenticity. Like you, um, If you're having a hard day and you look tired or worn out, it is what it is. Like if you... Uh, yeah. If you get up early and you're going for a walk and you want to do a video while you're walking, like people people that's real like it's- yeah i think being vulnerable and showing people who you really are um it again if it's polished all the time you're just showing your audience a, a certain layer of you um if you like you know a lot of people really don't start video because they're so worried about making mistakes yeah i don't know about you but like when i do a video i make a thousand mistakes yeah and well, you know about me, mate. <laughs> you got to edit it. <laughs> Look, but that's part of it. But I sit in the office behind you, and all I can hear my, my own voice every day repeating the same thing a thousand times. Yeah, I've, uh, your voice. I've uh, I've just I've just come to love it. That's I've, I've got to switch the brain to another another yeah. place. But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's unreal. So, but, mate, what's um, I guess let's like, go on to like. Because a lot of people might even be holding back. And I know we did for a while like because you think, oh, I haven't got microphones, I haven't got cameras. Like, yeah. what, what do you reckon with that? Yeah, look, oh, look it's it's nice to have all the equipment, um, but it's not the be-all and end-all. Like, oh, you, you know, we've all got a phone in our back pocket and there's no – like everyone's got access generally <clears throat> to the internet. Yeah. To pull out your phone, record something, go live with something to, you know, either Instagram, Facebook, um, it's easy. Um it's it's just a habit um, that you've got to build, yeah. and so because right, phone, like, phones are unreal, aren't they? Really, these yeah, days, so. yeah. And look, like, from there you can build your yeah. your equipment from there. Um, like the stuff that I've got in the background here, I've been collecting for years. So yeah. you know, it's it's, and you're constantly looking at new equipment and stuff. Yeah. So um, I think there's definitely it's nice, but you look at you know um, Martin Luther King speech. Um, man landing on the moon it's pretty ordinary footage yeah. but it's stuff that's etched Sent in message. people's brain yeah. yeah yeah. so it's more about you know the emotion and what you can make people feel behind that video as opposed to um, you know how good a quality it is and how good the sound is yeah so don't I guess there's so many people on social media these days that are have got someone following them around and doing mm. all the flash stuff but it, like we started with a phone like for the literally the first three three yeah. years most well, everything, everything we did was done on a phone. One, one thing I'd say on that is probably like you've got your, your phone, but um, audio is half the battle. Yeah. So I'd start with getting some ha- half decent mics, not even half decent, like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, those Rode mics that we – like I use these Rode mics. They're, they're cheap as chips, but um, people will click off your video if, if it sounds crap. Yeah. Um, they'll deal with like the, the video being pretty – poor quality but if it's the audio is bad then they'll den- that generally flick away so yeah i'd say you've got your phone get just like a little lav mic that can connect to your phone that's a good start yeah awesome and so if it, like everyone's got a phone they can do the video I mean, what what happens after that like can you recommend like editing and that sort of thing like what's the easiest yeah um 
there's well obviously you got your professional suites like premier pro um final cut pro da vinci resolve so that's kind of the next level up but then you've got some free stuff so for mac users you've got um uh iMovie and then uh for the pc i think there's 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 tons of free like simple editing stuff or you can just do it on your phone too yeah there's really simple ways just to edit on your phone um there's some free apps that you can download i can't remember off the top of my head we might be able to put some links or something in there yeah. in the video yeah yeah i'll um i'll throw some stuff in because i'm gonna have to edit this <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah like i think you just like for me um like looking back now i'm so glad i started like mm. so many for a long time i had people telling me like Dwayne, you've got value you're on a mission you want you you want to really want to change this industry just like get on social media and um yeah, it's the best thing I've done. Like it's been, fan- it's been incredible for um for all my businesses. But, but if um, you think about it, it's it's like a blueprint to where you're going to end up. Like I don't, I don't know if you've ever imagined yourself on your deathbed when you're in your you know in your eighties or nineties. Don't think about that, man. No, no. But <laughs> the, the three or four years that you've started to do video is a blueprint to where your mission is, where it's yeah. headed. And so you can always go back and have a look at all that stuff. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So long, long. Like we, uh, I got some pretty pretty big goals with um all the stuff that we're doing like uh, documentaries and all this type of stuff so we're we're definitely on a mission with everything we do but um so look uh costs followers um videoing editing mm. um let's talk about like shay's got some exercises like so we do, we do some stuff now when <laughs> a lot of stuff we do on sites very just in the moment like i'll be having a client meeting meeting my supervisor talking to guys on site meeting some contractors whatever and um, a lot of the time the site vids aren't planned, they're not organized. We, we might have one video, um, like it might be a job update or something, but then as we spoke about before, while we're there, we'll see someone doing something or something will be happening, we'll, we'll do a couple of vids on it. Um, but then when we get in front of the green screen and we, we do the more scripted ones, yep. um, we do exercise, don't we? Yeah, well, I think, you know, <laughs> it's, it goes back to like we all, you know, not all of us, but we, if you play sport or you play a musical instrument, um, if you just jump on a footy field without warming up, um, you may do a, a hammy. Um, same with music, you know, like if you haven't warmed up, then, um, you know, you're not going to be at your best. So I think it's like it's if you've got time to do it, sometimes if it's impromptu, it's, if it's, you know, you've got to just get it, get it now, yeah. then you haven't got time. But if you've got two, three minutes up your sleeve, like some of the things I take Dwayne through are um, just some voice exercise, so humming, um, red leather, yellow leather, red yeah, leather, red yellow leather, 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 red leather, yep. yellow leather, red leather, yellow Get, leather. Gets the tongue going, but just gets the resonators warmed up and your and your voice box warmed up. Yeah, so, humming's uh, humming's definitely been a, a good one. Like I, I mm. hate my voice, hate the way I can't stand the way I sound, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, yeah, humming's been a good one for me. Um, always having water with you. Yeah, um, but just even jumping around and just energizing the body, just priming the body. Because um, I'm a big believer. Like, if you're not excited or energized about what you're talking about, how can you expect your audience to be? Yeah. So yeah. you know, that's yeah, so that's, I, that's a big one. So Shay, uh, like I do, I do it in everything. Like in uh, for anyone that is listening to this, that's in my um, Elevate Mastermind online course program. It's a big part of what we do on all of our zooms. Like we jump up and down for for a minute. We pick yeah. a song. We we either do exercise or we we dance around. But I've got um, some good footage of you <laughs> mosh into smells like teen spirit. I think but, yeah. um, <laughs> it, it it not only makes you present better, but it just it changes your mood. You change your it day. Yeah, um, and it does. It can only be. 30 or 60 seconds it doesn't have to be huge it doesn't have to be long yeah if you can get your voice box warmed up um and your body primed you you sort of set to come in the blocks firing as opposed to and this is the thing these days you've got three to five seconds to impress someone with your video so if you come out of the block sluggish uh they're already they're on to the next video yeah yeah so you've got to move fast yeah, yeah. and everyone like yeah I, I love the video i think it's um we touched on it before like it just it shows everything it shows your emotion shows your passion shows your personality like it's just it's so powerful yeah um, if you allow to yeah that's the thing is, is is you know like like when we did your story uh i can see how passionate you are so i don't have to work very hard to get you to do stuff because you're on this journey and i can see what you're trying to achieve so i, I don't have to try and push you 
in some some respects to get that out of you it's there it's yeah. it's it's in your heart so um you know and that's where you've fe- you've found your voice you know where you want to go you know you, you, your feet are grounded yeah um and so that just makes my job a lot easier mm. <laughs> well now it does yeah. now this is um it definitely has gotten a lot a lot easier the um i think the other big thing um like you need to have a sounding board i think don't you like mm. you like so um on the days that we're on the road shay um yeah it comes to home we leave early um and we're just constantly bouncing ideas around uh, yeah talking whatever whatever talking about the world and business and life and just everything well that's like any idea i've got and throw your way and this is another thing is, is self-awareness um you've never shut down anything I think I remember. I I, I, had, I remember when wood was going through the roof. <laughs> I suggested we should dress you up like a prostitute and you should sell wood on the side of the road. And you're like, that could work. How can we make that work? Like, it, and that to me was a sign that you it's it, you don't care what other people think. You're willing to give anything a crack. No, and, you got me to do a Britney video. <laughs> to, uh, but that that to me is a sign that uh, okay that's that's great to work with you know you've got a ball of clay that's willing to try anything and and that's where the self awareness comes in if you're if you're shutting down every idea it's like no nah, that'll never work i don't have time for that um, you probably will never start so just have have a check on the stories that you're telling yourself why you're not starting or why you have started and just be flexible to give anything a crack cuz yeah. you never know where that may lead either yeah Oh mate, I'm, I'm such. I, I just love it now, and I um like with everything that we're doing and the stuff that you've taught me over the last um, few years. I like. I actually feel from and especially like in the current environment in the building industry, like the stories that I'm hearing and seeing from tradies and builders that have the the flash instagram pages and the uh like all they don't show any on-site stuff they don't show why they do things the way they do they just show all the pretty stuff at the end Mm. they're actually attracting a type of client that a lot of the time leads to problems because yeah they haven't done anything to educate the client on why things take a certain amount of time or like we do, we're doing so many videos at the moment about the current issues in the industry and like time delays and yeah. not being able to get contractors and price increases and all those types of things so our, our clients like we still have to have those difficult conversations but all of our clients are up to date because we don't hold back anything we don't hide anything we just tell it how it is yeah well in some ways uh, even our taxes changed a bit because the industry it, it's tough right now for everyone mm. And in some ways, I, I, I can hear you on the phone. You're you're turning into a psychologist, psychiatrist on the phone, um, trying to help builders through this tough time. Yeah. And you know, and you're the first to admit it's freaking tough on you as well. Yeah, it is. It is. So um, when you show that through video, you show a lot of people that they're not alone either. Mm. So yeah, that, look, there's so many different directions video can go and when you get on and and talk about you know one of our best videos is you saying that you lost so many thousand dollars on a build yeah how many builders would actually divulge that yeah there wouldn't be too many it's real mate like we don't um yeah not hiding anything yeah yeah um yeah no we've we've done videos on a lot of stuff we've got a lot, lot more to come the um but i guess it's it's um like if like I know I know because I did it, but so like so many bills and trades out there would I know would want to be doing video, and they just they they just don't have that little bit of confidence or are too worried about what people are going to think or what like I, I I feel that there's probably a lot of bills out there that hold back on the video because they worry about what another builder will think. Yeah, well, you got to make sure you you fact checking yourself when you're giving out good information for start like yeah. you know you want to be giving out shonky stuff but i think there's still that stigma around builders that um builders don't cry we don't hug we suck it up we just get shit done yeah. and there's still that stigma and that's in some way what you're trying to change as well yeah um and but with that we don't do video you know we just work our, our guts out we have a beer at the end of the day we have a chuckle that's it yeah um but you know i think the the builders evolved in 2022 
Yeah. Oh, mate, it's yeah, it's just um, well, it's not just a builder, mate. Everyone's got to change. Like the old mm. days of men, yeah, not being able to show emotion and being hard on themselves and having to earn the money to support the family and all those types of things. Like it's it's an even keel now, really. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I think the other thing there there would be a lot of people out there that um would feel that they can't talk about um the constraints of the industry and like the time delays and the price increases and all those types of things because they might um lose or offend a client or something like that but yeah yeah i'm like i'm i believe i can't say enough like if, yeah. if i like because i'm all i'm doing is talking about what's actually happening yeah like i'm not uh we're not the um we're not all the crap you see on a current affair like we're, we're yeah. talking about the real deal even if you've got a vent video is a good place to vent get yeah. things out you know um if you're frustrated if you need to rant if you get things off your chest if things are hard um there's you know people it's probably not the best thing to do it all the time <laughs> yeah. but every now and again just yeah. to get thing something off your chest you're gonna have people rally around you and say look i'm going through the same thing and you know things are hard um yeah. because yeah what what you're doing right now is building a community and you've got like-minded people, um, clients, contractors, builders, all on your page, you know, and, and urging you to succeed because yeah. I think everyone's starting to understand that the old way doesn't work anymore and, you know, that um, there's there's got to be a better way and I think you're leading the charge on that. Yeah, and so all right, it's um, – yeah, I love it. I love it. I think it's awesome. The um, – like the other thing we probably need to touch on, like for people that are wanting to get into video and stuff, like we have a consent form. Mm. So I think one thing you really need to consider if you if if you're walking around your job sites, if you're filming, um, so that, well, there's a, there's a few parts to this, but you really just can't start taking photos and videos of the jobs you're doing without getting permission from the client. So yeah, I think um, just a consent form. Uh, most people are okay with it, uh, but it's just letting them know because you just probably don't want to have to deal with someone that you know like i think i've had one scenario where like in a group of about 40 people a lady came up to me and said um can you not put me in the video because my husband can't come within 50 meters of me <laughs> so i don't want him to see me on the video i'm like cool no worries but 99 times out of 100 people will be fine um yeah. with that um yeah and it's just obviously you don't want to capture them in a bad light um but just having that consent form in your back pocket or just letting people you can have it on digital form now and people yep. can sign an ipad um yep. but just letting them know and just you know it ties up all the loose ends yeah so when so it comes to in the uh, in our building business we have it gets sent out um when we do our pack process uh, we let the clients know and look we we do jobs where we don't film anything at all because mm. they're just a private person they, they don't want people seeing inside their home and all that sort of things and we when, when we understand that and yep. then uh the other one that we have is for um, like Shay carries a few around with him. All of our uh, regulars, um, they know we do what we do, so mm. they've all signed a consent form to say they're they're happy to be seen in the background and all that sort of thing. So I think it is it's probably something that does get overlooked a little bit because it it only does take that one person um, to uh, and we we actually got pulled up by a client a few years ago. Um, or actually probably three or four years ago now and we we're only sort of just getting into this that we, we weren't asking and they um they're like hey we we saw you did a walkthrough of our home on uh, yeah. facebook um we don't want like take it off we don't want it there yeah 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 so um yeah it's it's, it's something that could blow up into a, a bigger problem yeah if you uh it's a two second thing um oh, you either got the consent form but you're asking always ask yeah. and before you start shooting and you, you, there's either a yes or a no yeah and and just just makes things really easy when it comes to shooting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mate. What else do we? What other tips and hips can we uh, give these guys that uh, need to get off the fence and get stuck into video? Um, okay, if you're sitting on the fence, yeah. Look, you know, having a crack, it, it's baby step it. Um, you know, you've probably been had this inkling if you're a builder or a tradie that you know you want to start getting something out online. Um, Practice in front of your partner. Practice in front of the mirror. Try – give yourself two or three different tips um, that, you know, may be of value. 
Um, I think a big thing too is keep conveying love and kindness. I think a lot of people are doing things because they want to make money or it's, you know, yeah. it's from selfish perspective. Oh, mate, so many people are doing stuff for um – for sponsorship like they're worried they're worried about the numbers they're worried about what they put out there because they they want to get money back i think it's i think it's re um re-engineering the whole thing in that you know if you do put the love and kindness and the value out there and you know if you've got a skill set that you can help people if you can help people the money will come yeah but don't put the money ahead of everything else because you know the message yeah yeah it's going to be in the wrong order but look the the best tip that I'd always give businesses is come up with the five um, uh, topics that you talk about to clients on the phone all the time and put that in a video. Mm. So when a client rings you, yeah, awesome. throw them straight to the video and because you can probably explain it in the video better as well uh, and that'll free up your time to do other work. Yeah, yeah. So, no, also, that's mm. a great tip. Yeah. Mm. Um, Because you'll be hammered with the same questions, you know, day in, day out. So problems as well? Like you can do that for problems as well. Yeah, yeah. If you're you're constantly having a a similar problem with a client or whatever, like, yeah, pick out out five problems and how you could solve them and do a video on that. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're solving problems for people, um, you know, people love that. So, yeah, it's a good start. Um, What else, mate? Um, Yeah, look. It's it's quite easy to look left and right of what everyone else is doing, right? Put your blinkers on and just do your thing. Yeah. Find your voice. Um, you, you could be saying, you know, whatever industry you're in, uh, Jimmy's doing this. I better do the same. Don't worry about Jimmy. Just do your thing. Stay. You know, it's um, when you're looking left and right, you're not focusing on where you want to go. So yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about. You know, it, it, everyone's about. Um, or people stealing ideas. If you've got a great <laughs> idea, uh, get it out there. And if someone steals it, yeah. then, it, then it sort of reaffirms that it was a great idea. So, yeah. you know, but even with what you're doing, you're kind of three, four years ahead of what's going on. So I think don't be so cons- or paranoid that people yeah. are going to steal your ideas. Just yeah. get your message out there. And yeah, if people steal it, then great. Good yeah. on them. No, yeah. that's all, that is great advice because I know... Mate, if I hadn't have, um, if I had kept in that mindset, mm. you and I wouldn't be having this conversation. No, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely put the blink. I like the yeah, put the blinkers on. Just yep. Yep. Go just with your run gut. your own race, and you know, but come out of your lane every now and again, and and do a video that's uh, out of left field and that people yeah. didn't that that don't expect. You know, yeah. so yeah, surprise people. I think like yeah, it's um, every every single person on this planet is different different personality different mindset different yep. um beliefs different like everything and yeah. you, you doing video expresses that yeah and yep. the people that want to connect with you will connect with you so yep. it, it is so powerful the other thing is your confidence will shoot it's through the roof too when you start yeah. doing video you'll st- you'll you won't know yourself um it, it's it's funny how when you start talking and you start giving you know throwing love kindness value out there um you'll start to fill your own buckets up and you'll yeah. start to really and sorry another one is smile <laughs> for god's sake it's not that like it's it's free it's yeah. um it's not going to cost you anything but when you're putting a smile on your face uh, in front of the camera just lets people know that you know they'll smile back at you too because yeah. they feel you through the camera yeah hey big dogs come in <laughs> good. Hey, um, yeah well mate look really appreciate you uh taking the time to actually jump in front of the camera no worries <laughs> um, everyone's probably of- like trying to work out who's behind the camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, Shay's, Shay's pretty good at what he does he's got it all set up so um <laughs> But um, look, guys, I really, really hope you get some value out of that and it gives you a bit more confidence to jump in front of a camera, do some more video. It is, video is incredibly powerful um, to your business, to your brand, to your to everything. Um, and yeah, like exactly like Shay said, put your blinkers on, run your own race, do your own thing. Don't worry about what other people are doing, how many followers they got, all the other stuff you see on Instagram and just start smashing it out yourself. Cheers, guys.
Everything discussed during the Level Up podcast with me, Dwayne Pierce, is based solely on my own personal experiences and those experiences of my guests. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast are for general information only, and any reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own risk. We recommend that you obtain your own professional advice in respect to the topics discussed during this podcast.